Hi friends, uh, I wanted to give you a look through this um, watercolor journal that I made out of one sheet of watercolor paper. This is a Tisha Moore uh, tutorial. It's on YouTube. I'll link in the comments. Um, but yes, you can take one sheet of 22 by 30 inch watercolor paper and make some cuts and then fold and pamphlet stitch it together um, in the middle and you have um, a really lovely watercolor uh, journal. Um, I wanted to just really experiment with watercolors, but then also I have these um, betas from Stuart Simple Changes inks that I wanted to play with. And so there's a lot of this experimentation in this book as well um, with watercolor and then some water, some collage and some Sumi ink. So. That's what I started out with to work on this book. And this is the cover. Um, and so I watercolored the page and then cut it up and assembled it. So there's some, uh, there was work already done. And then I went in and uh, added to what was there. So this is the cover. Did some pencil drawings. Um, and... Um, I've really been trying to work on line um, for me. Uh, it's something that I've not felt comfortable with for a lot of years after I had carpal tunnel surgery. So it's been a practice process for me. Um, holding a pen and a brush um, have been a thing that I've had to adjust to over the years. Uh, this is that, this ink, um, the orange when it gets wet changes to this blue. So it's pretty fun. And this, uh, one of the features of this book is that you get these handy dandy little fold outs. Um, again, Sumi ink. Um, this shape really suggested shrimp to me. And so um, I practiced drawing a shrimp. I looked the, you know, up, practiced drawing it, and then pencil draw, drew it, and then drew it with um, my brush pen and um, really like how it turned out um, because again, I'm not much of a drawer. Uh, this flower was sort of already there, so I just accentuated the petals with the pink color. Um, I really like the energy that these kind of lines create. Um, had fun with that. And doilies, I'm always about the doilies. Um, I have a lot of tags in my paper stash and um, I ended up doing some stamps on them um, just so there would be some different textures there but I like these colors with these colors so that's how that turned out uh, kind of came together and then there's the back thanks for joining me